Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hands and we've still got the heat wave going on here in the UK this kind of weather brings out all kind of uh, creatures and wildlife so I thought while it's like this it would be cool to go through 10 great killer bug movies so first movie on the list is Ants from 1977 uh, this is a TV movie really good movie uh, in this one they they build this kind of luxurious hotel over like a giant ant nest and once the hotels up and the guests are in uh, the angry ants start to rise up and uh, and cause a load of trouble within the hotel and what I like about this is it's like it's real ants crawling about the place and all over the actors so credit to the people that are in it uh, they have real life ants crawling all over them which is a little bit skin crawling uh, I thought it'd be like unconvincing black dots tacked on to the actors and actresses but no they uh, real ants things going on crawling all over them but uh, I've always really liked this one if you want to see a, a, a good TV movie from the 1970s uh, I definitely recommend checking out Ants. It's a, it's a, an enjoyable film, and uh, Robert Foxworth and uh, Brian Denner here in it. They're always cool to watch, and uh, this has actually just had a a, a Blu-ray release from Kino Lobra, I think. So yeah, definitely worth checking out. Definitely worth picking up if you do like your killer bug movies and want to see a good TV movie. So that's Ants. Right next up, we have. The Black Scorpion, which is a good one from the 50s. 50s did some really good sort of giant bug movies. Uh, this is one example of it. This is a giant scorpion that lives in sort of the uh, this underground layer beneath the city and comes out to cause a load of destruction and things like that. It's like stop motion, um, but it's really impressive because when you think how many points of articulation a scorpion has they've uh, they had to sort of stop motion that and make it look effective and have it move around and things like that it's really really impressive and the scorpion gets quite a bit of uh, screen time as well uh, so yeah really uh, enjoyable film and I like the scenes where the uh, the actors have to venture down into this sort of underground layer where the scorpions hanging out pretty creepy stuff um, but yeah, one, uh, one of these 50s monster movies that I've always enjoyed. So yeah, Black Scorpion, it's another good one. Okay, next up we have Creepy Crawlers. This is pretty much uh, a good description of this one. This is, I like this because it's uh, from about 2000 and it's set in this small sleepy town. So I sort of like the look and feel of this one. And this is one where they have like this uh, outbreak of killer cockroaches or something like that I think they're burrowing themselves in people and they they die and then it's like found out in the autopsy that they've got these sort of uh, a mutant strain of cockroach sort of hibernating inside them and they get out and start crawling over people and burrowing into the skin and things like that but yeah this is a pretty good film actually it was a lot better than what I thought it would be and like I say it has that early 2000 late 90s feel which I always enjoyed so yeah if you can come across this one uh, check out creepy crawlers I think it's also called the nest or they nest or something like that but I, I have it under this title but yeah this is a good one so yeah creepy crawlers okay next up we have Empire of the Ant uh, this is on a, a double feature with Jaws of Satan Jaws of Satan from what I remember there's not much going on in that one um, but Empire of the Ants is a really fun film, one that I discovered as a kid. Not particularly great, but a lot of fun. This is one where I watched it when I was younger and my dad, he really didn't like this film. And I watched it and, and loved it and I took great delight in uh, going through all the reasons why I thought it was so great and probably got on my dad's nerves. But uh, yeah, one that I've always liked since I was a kid, really cheesy. But if, if you like big killer bug movies, I highly recommend checking out Empire of the Ants. I think they, um, the ants get into this barrel of toxic waste. It's always toxic waste, but um, they get into this barrel of toxic waste and it makes them big and aggressive. And then I think at the end, they're like, they're running this giant sugar mill 
or something and they're trying to harvest humans to look after the sugar something crazy like that um but yeah really fun film empire of the ants definitely check it out if you like these kind of movies joan collins was in it but yeah that's that one okay next up we have insect which is a cool movie this is from the 80s uh, this is set in a hospital um steve railsback is in it and i think uh they have a sort of a bit of an outbreak and it turns out to be this sort of giant killer praying mantis type bug this thing here and it starts out all small and gooey and then grows into this uh giant uh giant praying mantis monster which is going up and down the corridors and and it's like down in the basement of this hospital killing people off and Steve Railsback has to do something about it but uh, this is a really cool one very 80s and there's some great practical effects of this giant praying mantis bug monster thing so yeah really cool uh, this is um, also called Blue Monkey it's got a blu-ray release of Blue Monkey as well so have a look for that yeah this is a fun one next up another one I think this is 50s as well yeah, 1958. This is a spider, a giant spider movie. I could have done a separate video uh, just on spider movies, to be honest. But this is a really good one. Very fun. Another fun giant bug movie from the 50s of this spider. Uh, it's made this lair just outside of town and unsuspecting characters, for whatever reason, go into this place and get attacked by the giant spider. And the authorities and people have to go down there and fight against it. But this is good i really like the simplicity of this one it's literally just people going in this dark cave and getting attacked by a giant spider uh, it's pretty cool uh, like i say another very fun one from the 50s if you like your 50s monster movies definitely get on that one so that was a spider the next one is uh spiders uh which is a triple feature i don't see many people talk about this release actually but this has got Three films, Spiders, Spiders 2, and Spiders 3D. All three of them are kind of like cheap, kind of like sci-fi channel movies. Uh, but they're really good and, and surprisingly enjoyable. Spiders, the first one in particular, is really good. It takes place in like this uh, research place, if I remember right. And they get an outbreak of these giant monster spiders and the army gets sent in to to kill them but there's some great practical effects and great spider action and um, the sequels aren't uh, quite as good but, but i did enjoy them and this is a really good triple feature i don't know if this is out of print or, or what but you just i don't see anyone talk about this but yeah spiders in particular the first movie is a lot of fun i think it might be late 90s or early 2000s um, but some really surprisingly good practical effects for this one as well so yeah very very much recommend this this triple feature right next up we have the swarm from the 70s one of the more well-known ones and this is kind of like a mix of those they used to do like those disaster films in the 70s which seemed to get lots of big stars in and a, and a crossover with the killer killer bug type movies this is a swarm of killer bees so um I thought this one should get a mention because it's probably the most epic of the killer bug movies. I think this is about two and a half hours long um, with lots of big stars from the 70s. Michael Caine's in this, uh, Henry Fonda, Ben Johnson, uh, lots of good people in this one. So if you like your disaster films and your killer bug movies mixed together, check out The Swarm. But you will need to put some time aside because like I say, this is a very long film. Um, but pretty enjoyable i haven't seen it for a long time uh, i know it gets uh, slated quite a bit as being silly but you know it's a killer bug movie so i don't know what you expect but yeah the swarm pretty good and pretty big budget type hollywood movie as well uh next up one of the very best of the killer bug movies again from the 50s and that is them uh the giant ants in this one really good film as well very well done the giant ants in it look fantastic uh for a 50s movie these are really good i remember they make that funny whistling noise um which uh which was pretty creepy but yeah great great movie um really good just overall 50s film like i say if you like your giant bug movies 
um, you've got to see them. This is uh, one of the best classic film. Uh, so yeah, that's that one. And then last but not least, in fact, this might be my favorite film on the list. I don't know. I'm going for Ticks from the early 90s, uh, which is a, a hugely enjoyable killer bug film of these teenagers. They go on like a camping trip into the woods and they get attacked by these tick monsters that start out in these like gooey egg sacs and hatch out and burr into people's skin. It's all very, uh, very kind of messy and gooey and some great practical effects. Really fun film, very enjoyable. I love the 90s feel to this. Um, you've got, what's his name? Seth Green's in this, but who's the guy? Um, Alfonso Ribeiro, uh, he's great in this movie. But yeah, really, really good film that I I uh, highly recommend. I know Vinegar Syndrome put out that really nice addition. Uh, if I didn't, if I, if I hadn't have paid so much for this out of print version, I'd be straight on that Vinegar Syndrome version, but I, I don't have the heart to replace this one uh, after it took me so long to find the thing. Um, but yeah, Ticks is a really fun film that you should definitely check out if you like these kind of films or like, like 90s horror films. So yeah, so that is uh, 10 what well, I think are great killer bug movies. Could have thrown in a lot more to be honest, but let me know which of these movies you like and if there's any others that I haven't talked about that you like, uh, let me know. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.